to distract Tulip from flirting with every Tom, Dick, and Farmer John who entered the store. She was my friend from childhood. She had advised me long distance on raising my kids and losing two husbands during my time in Seattle. She joined with me in country dance lessons and senior softball since I'd been back in the valley, so I owed her. So this reporter retired to the valley to be near her friends and parents and she has a boyfriend that lives in Seattle, but he's from the Standing Rock Res. He's a tribal cop that he helps her with some of the mysteries. So he comes in and out. But as she talks about her friend, she said, um, sometimes this sexy siren of a certain age got to be too much even for me. She was easily distracted by the opposite sex, one or another member of which she was ever trying to reel in especially if they wore expensive boots and drove a high-end truck and so forth. Store-bought boobs had been Tool's first line of offense. <laughs> I about fainted when I caught sight of those double Ds, nothing halfway for Miss Tulip. Pale blonde hair extensions added last year came next. I didn't tell Tulip she looked like a dandelion puff on stilts. <laughs> Eyelash extensions a mile long this week, 60 dark hairs glued to the real lashes of each upper lid. I'd said they made her resemble an alien, and I made it a point to rag her about them again. When we went to my double wide south of Gold River, the town named for a five pound nugget found in 1850, which reportedly kicked off the famous Oregon Gold Rush. So that's a taste of her relationship with her best friend. Now, they all, all the riders, the horse riders, go off to Texas. Now, this is a thoroughly modern mystery, although it looks sort of like a traditional Western, but I'm a horse rider myself, a former reporter. We have a lot in common. In less than 45 minutes, now, she's in uh, Fort Worth now for this World Horse Show. We spied the street signs for the Will Rogers Memorial Center and followed them to our destinations. Flags were flying over the sprawling tan complex. Horse banners were hung on exterior walls. And the main RV parking lot in the 200-acre facility already filled with white trucks, RVs, and a king's ransom and horse trailers. The Will Rogers was a city unto itself. And like a city, it had a million everyday tales with occasional bursts of drama. Hello, Texas, Tulip shouted. She took off her sunglasses, threw back her head, and spun in place her arms reaching toward the sky, where everything is bigger. So that's just a taste of, there's drama, there's a dramatic ride on Table Rock, where she's trying to save a friend's life. And I'm gonna try to find that for you. Bob and I clattered closer. She takes her old retired show horse, rides up on a ranch that's the backside of Table Rock, where she has permission. We were shrinking the distance in an agonizingly slow pace that you were hearing shouting at the edge of the cliff, no, die. We galloped to within 100 yards of the action. I could see both Sandra and Reg wore black. Sandra is a hot new realtor that's brought her horses up from California to board at Pepper's Barn, and she's quite a mystery and has uh, something sad about her that Pepper has wanted to try to help her with. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, there's a pause in their action. They seemed oblivious to me. A woman's scream ripped the air, then a gunshot. The sound ricocheted around nearby hills. Cue the gunshot to scare the birds in the winery. No? Hell, Bob shied sideways and stood rigid, focused on the scene. The couple stopped fighting at the edge of the cliff. What should I do? I didn't want to get shot. I still couldn't make the fighters out clearly. They were both tall, slender, in black jackets and caps. Who was who? Which one had brought a gun and used it? And there was the gunshot. And they might use it again on me. All right, that's a good taste. Thank you. Are there any questions? All right. You've written three books? Yes, uh, two books. Two. Third is about halfway through. Way. Right, one on the way. All right. Called Ghost Ranch, and uh, set or more of a Grants Pass area. Yes. So, how much of Pepper Kane reflects your own experience? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> three <laughs> things a lady, 
a lady author must never tell, <laughs> okay. right? Her yeah. age, her age, how the book comes out, and whether any of the characters resemble anyone she knows. Uh, or, and since I can't sue myself, I have to admit I have a lot in common with Pepper. But not Tulip. But not Tulip. No. Although I love her to pieces. No, 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 don't trust that. Okay, thank you all.